back karibu sana today is tuesday and kama kawaida it's entrepreneurship tuesday where we get to look into different businesses and get some ideas from them know what is in the market and how to actually thrive in your business so today i'm joined by a very classy fashionable beautiful lady i'll just let her introduce herself because wow eh na oh, thank you thank you <laughs> yes yes so please introduce yourself I am Immaculate Mwende, mm-hmm. CEO, founder, Lavoga Kenya, mm-hmm. which is a fashion brand, yes. actually. Started, I started it at 2018, yeah, while well, I was still in campus. I love you, Minister. You've told me that what you're wearing right now, you prepared it yesterday oh with God, one yeah. hour. <laughs> <laughs> one hour, like one hour. Yeah, I don't even mm. need one hour to choose my clothes. I like choose my clothes in one week. I love who you're Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, this is so great. You look so Thank nice. You so much. Yeah, so tell us about La Voga fashion brand. Where it started, where did mm-hmm. the dream come from? Okay. My, I think my, my brand is more my passion. Mm-hmm. I've had a passion of fashion till, uh, when I was young. But I really didn't know whether I wanted to do fashion, actually, because I enrolled in, I, I was in high school, then I enrolled in campus. I didn't know what course I was doing. I actually went there. I did education for one whole year, hmm. <laughs> but I was doing home science. So I, I got skills from there about fashion. Yeah, I think from my experience in home science, and I did, in, I did home science back in high school, too, so I had a clue then it just found me i mean your passion found so it. so in university or college did you like study about fashion yeah yeah, yeah i really? did education one year yes and the following year nika feel no it's Uka not going this is not my calling yeah this is not my calling then i talked to my mom and she's my number one supporter so uh-huh. she was like just do what you want and i went there i went ahead i i it was actually in second year that I noticed that I could start a fashion line and wow I started and it went it just thrived out of nowhere I didn't have an idea whether this could be I could grow something this big and I'm thinking like you're in second year right so you're around 20 21 yeah. wasn't it hard for you to like start uh, as business in in school like mm-hmm. uh, what was your starting like uh, where did you get the money to finance your business funny enough I, th- I don't think my business needed so much cash where I needed like an investor no I just got a machine actually and the machine I got it was so little such that my first order I remember it broke down <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I went I tried repair it and it was expensive I compared what I'm earning and to repair the machine it was just little so since it was my passion I go i didn't stop my business so i go buy fabrics cut out then go to our fundi local ones i'd go stitch there then deliver and where did you get the fabrics from i buy my fabrics from isli isli yeah now where were you schooling at that time kenya university was so all the way from isli to kenya university, university to get fabric yeah and you still got time to study but yeah, you still got, yeah, time, to I got study. time to study. Yeah, so after you, after clearing your school, that's when you started La Voga. Yeah, it, not really then, okay. but when that's I was still when in Kana, La Voga it, yeah, expanded just, yeah, yeah. to what it is right now. Yeah, yeah, because so, I, concentrated, I concentrated on it. So, what kind of clothes do you deal with in La Voga? Actually, I think my brand is all about femininity. Don't get me wrong, like it's all about females. I only design females. Yeah, baby, baby girls, weddings, bridesmaids. Yeah, it's what I'm doing, and I'm hoping soon I can venture into men's fashion. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping. So, for a person who wants to start a fashion brand, mm-hmm. uh, what are the requirements to start when? Passion. Just have you know one thing. Don't let anything stop you. I mean, just do it, no matter what. See, I didn't have a machine, but I still did my thing. Yeah. So apart from passion, like, of, yeah, of like, course, you yeah, yeah. need skills, one thing, you can't start a brand without skills, fashion skills, actually. You need to know how to dress people according to their bodies, like, you need to know how to, how to, how to advise your clients, because, you know, one thing, even if you, you stitch well, uh, a cloth which is not designed for their body, 
it won't be so cute. You understand? So you should have the, you should have so, some little, call it some little roots. Yeah, so when you meet a client for the first time, like for example me, yeah. uh, and I want a dress, mm -hmm. so what is the first thing that you check? Like as you said, you need like that that eye yeah. to to know what type of clothes goes with the body of your client. Mm -hmm. So when you meet a client for the first time, what what do you do before you start even designing yeah. and drawing the the pieces? When I when I meet you for the first time, I'll first ask you what you want. Tell me. Like if you have an idea, maybe a picture on the phone. Some, some, a lot of the times I meet clients who have, who are, uh, what they have, they have it in mind. Like uh, they'll show you a picture, I want a dress like this. Yeah, so I'll ask you, do you have what you want? No. If you don't, yes. If, if you tell me yes, we're going to work with your picture. I'll advise you accordingly whether, understand whether it's good for you, whether it's not. Yeah. Then after the process of advising i advise I, I, i'll advise you then take your measurements there mm -hmm. where you'll place an order placing an order just i'll just get the measurements and a deposit which is half the price yeah and i'll start doing my thing if it's about fabrics i'll get there and with all these phones social media whatsapp i'll just take pictures of the fabrics available i'll send you you can choose what you want yeah it's all about my clients choose actually it's not about me what you want is what i'll give you and how long does it take to like complete uh, a dress or someone's piece? <laughs> oh, a dress. It depends on this, on the style, design, but a simple, just like a dress, just dress. Just not long like an hour I'll be I done. mean you've like, completed yours yeah. with one hour yeah, I told you. <laughs> yeah. so it's not hard actually if you have it in hard you just cut out and stitch I mean see seeing them with it's, you. Not, it's not hard actually so we people overrated it. it's not oh, hard okay yeah. so we have talked about uh, having the skill set and mm -hmm. uh, apart from the skills like what do you what else do you need to have a complete fashion brand, brand. yes what is it? You should be hard working. One thing, mm -hmm. you know, people like for me, you know, people have this mentality that tailors lie. What like, tailors lie? Yeah. Oh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh -huh. you know, like you go for your dress. <laughs> yeah, you know. So me, I work with like time. Time is my thing. Actually, I think it's my main thing because I don't like every time I make sure that if I have promised that I'll deliver your dress by 12 a.m., I make sure. I mean. You understand? Like, if there's, if, yeah, if there's <laughs> anything remaining, I'll do it in the mat. You understand? With that, and with that, it has really given me a lot of clients. A lot of clients. Yeah. Hey, okay. So, what about the resources? Some of the resources that one requires when mm -hmm. starting a fashion brand? I mean, like, what? The resources. A machine, you'll need a machine, one thing. Is there like other types of machines? I'm a machine, a machine. It, all machine, yeah, there are types of machines, but all machines do the same work. Okay. Just that there are some which have different stitches, different work. There are some which are industrial, but all machines work the same. So you don't need to have a machine which is 30,000. I mean, my first machine was 3,000. Okay. It was on, I bought it actually on Jumia. Okay. It was, yeah. So you don't need, you don't need a lot of money. I bought fabrics worth 2,000 actually for a start. Yeah. So this is a business that can be started by anyone yeah, as long as you have, you have the passion yeah. and the skill set. Yeah. But uh, I tend to think that uh, when it comes to skills, this is something inborn, like music. Uh, is it something you're taught or is it something that you is know, inborn? Can be, they can, they are, they are, you know, there are designers who, come, who become designers from school. Okay. Yeah, but there are others which are, you, you, may, you, may, you know, like your passion in fashion, you want to do it, it's born with you, yeah. And but you know, when, it, when it's a passion from inside, you have to go to school to at least get... To get some skills. Yeah, yeah to, add, to add up something. And are there like uh, specific skills that we do not know of? See, when you see my fashion designers, mm. like, kuna any special skills in your... Ama, what did you get from school that has helped you get to where you are right now? So, you know, I had a... I really enjoyed fashion when I was little, but you know I didn't know I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know how to stitch. You understand? Like Pia who stitch, you need someone to show you how to do the, to work with the machine. You okay. Understand? So mm. that one is taught in school. Yeah, taking measurements too. That one is taught in school. 
Yeah, it, those are just the basics, actually, from my brand, like from me. I think those are just the basics. It's just something so simple. I mean, it turned out to be something I didn't expect. It was just something so simple to just maybe top up for me to some little money and become something. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, so. And uh, in your brand, do you work alone? Am I, you have a, you a, have a set, uh, yeah, a crew who help, who help you like uh, stitch and design? Am I, is it a oh one month show? <laughs> Solo. <laughs> yeah. And doesn't that get like you don't get burnout out because Nafkiria like if you yeah. get like five orders today you have to do all of them by yourself. Yeah, I know, but sometimes like there are sometimes I even sacrifice a night like but it's not so much. I mean it's not exhausting. I mean if it's two nights per like in two months, that is not something hard to sacrifice. Understand? Yeah, so you just need to work with your time. And I think the 12 hours we have, the 12 day time hours we have are enough. I mean, if you're serious with what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. So, in a day, how many orders do you get? Okay, my orders in a day, it depends. I want, not every day I get orders, but sometimes just comes. So understand? Like, my older clients, hi, I'm going somewhere. I need you to dress me up, you know. Yeah, but most of the time I deal with my clients, the, the, my clients, the, 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 privy, the older ones, yeah. So your business is more of a referral business yeah, where yeah, yeah. you make me a nice dress, my friend wants that dress, she refers you to me like that, like that, yeah, and you and more. for that I'm so grateful for my clients. Mm -hmm. They're so nice. They're the best actually, yeah. So uh, up to now, what's your clientele like? Like how many clients do you have you worked for or who have you worked for oh, i have worked for you know like mine is not you mean you can just come by yourself you order a dress alone or a group so i'm not so sure whether i can count the number of clients you've worked yeah. for but <laughs> i have worked with a good number not a big number but with a good number mm. yeah. so you said your cloth line is more of a feminist one that is all about empowering yeah, women. Yeah. So where, where did that dream and vision come from? Funny enough, I, I think I am I am the only baby oh, in your from family. a single mom. Okay. So it's too late. I mean, I've been brought up with a lot of feminism around me. I mean, I think the ma the male males in our home they are countable. So it's just I think I was brought up with a lot of feminicity and just grew in me and I just made everything about ladies. Yeah. And is there like anything or any, uh, any, any, anything that you've done that shows your support to women? Like, uh, has your fashion brand in mm -hmm. any way done anything in support to, to, the, to women? Like are, really events, like are there events, like are there events you've yeah. attended yeah. or, uh -huh. tell Actually, us about that. I, have, I think right now I have done two, three fashion events. Okay. We have we had creativity, the creativity affair. It was held at the Nod, the Nod restaurant. It's in Westlands. Yeah, it was all about it was all about pads and boxers. You understand? We were donating to pads and boxers. We've done another one at Club Sevens in town with Desna's Dynasty. Sorry, it's a model crew. We were raising funds. I think for books. Some days. Yeah. So I'm thinking about you've talked you've talked about the events. So I'm thinking about this. You're a designer, right? And once in a while, or more often than not, you come up with your own designs. Mm -hmm. So after you do that, maybe like what you're wearing right now, how do you get that out there? How do you market mm -hmm. yourself, or how can a fashion brand market their their commodities out there in the business world? As I said, one thing, my clients are the best actually you just wake up to post like someone has posted my work. Oh, so, so, social so media is yeah social media is, is my main is your main. i use my i have my instagram page my facebook my twitter yeah and i have done i think also the runway events i have done like the ones i have told you the three ones they've really helped me get my name out there and how many original pieces do you have um, everything you you make is original yeah, like, yeah, it just go by fabric, like everything, like everything. 
No, like soon on me, I can come with my my what? idea. I mm -hmm. tell you, I want a dress that is oh, like this. Oh, oh, oh. But you, as a fashion designer, how many how many things have you created, or what's the creative process like? I see all the all the run ev events have 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 showcased my work, like my own designs. Yeah, you just you know design. One thing my campus teacher used to tell me is that design si kuangazi ya top mkono ya tatu. Okay. You understand? Okay, when I tatu like, ni <laughs> Like, you know, there are two arms. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. Design si ya tu naangaza. Unangaza kitu ingeno. Oh, oh, yeah. You just work with the normal. Uh -huh. Just work with the normal. Try to modify it a little. Yeah. A little bit. Just a little. Just the normal, you know, the color will remain to be the color. So you're oh, the one who is supposed to know uh -huh. how to make it look like. Okay. Design it, I mean, mm. yeah. And the finances part of the business, uh, mm -hmm. how, what's like, what's your earning like? Oh, like I, make, like I try my level best to make at around fifteen hundred per clothes. Yeah. Per piece. Per piece. I try my level best. And you know, what type of dress is that? Like, um, I, just I'm a straight dress. Or like, a straight dress. Yeah, like I, I was. I mean, every outfit I make, I aim to make in at around fifteen hundred. It's not bad. So, because you're a business, a whole business, mm -hmm. uh, maybe there are some processes that you need to go through before opening a shop. Yeah. So, what, uh, what, what requirements do do you need? Actually, I don't even have a shop yet. Okay. I work from my house. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not so sure what I'll need, but when I am so sure that I can work with a shop, yeah, you know, a shop comes with a little added rent. You understand? Mm -hmm. it's my own but now it's easier because yeah, una, una fanya una fanya, home, yeah una you know, like it's my house, I can, I go like, I rest, you know, it's convenient. I think working for my house is very convenient because I can stitch up tonight. You understand? Like, so I think the best decision she make maybe go choose go work here. Yeah. Now, where do you get your materials for? From like for a person who wants to join your business, mm -hmm. now I call clue. clue yote about where there's a part of fabric, where there's a part of the machines for sewing. Where do you? shop for you for your equipment oh i think along river road there are very nice machines there i have checked the shops some of the shops not all of them yeah and fabrics i'd advise them to either go to gizurai they have a fabric market actually and it's cheap compared to you know like there are fabrics sold at gizurai easily not that they are different but the prices range so if you're starting i'd advise you to go to the market where you know it's cheap yeah and uh, talking about the fabrics, again, for a person who wants to get into the fashion business, is there like a quality ama fabric zoteni nzuri? Yeah, 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 you have to check out on the, you know, you have to check your, like, every dress has the uh, fabric which, which will work perfect on it. So, ata kuchus, like, fabric, unafengi kukuwana, the design in mind. Like, fabric inye natatumia kutengeneza a straight dress, si fabric inye natatumia kutengeneza a skater or a flare, you understand? Mm -hmm. Flare in a need fabric, hard. Okay. Don't use the form, the stackle. A straight dress doesn't need a hard fabric, just not really a soft one, but a nice fabric. A plain, a plain. Yeah, just, just, something, just something good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. Uh, okay, so, so. So, what are some of the challenges that you're facing? Because now, assume it's not, it's, it hasn't been like Nwe, yeah, Kabisa. So, what are some of the challenges you, you face as a brand? Oh, this, this, you know, it's my brand, so I work to perfection. And it's my thing. Like, it's what represents me out here. So, I want to be perfect. So, you imagine I am really working hard, I am putting effort, I am trying to get the clients what they want. Like, I do my level best, it's my job anyway. And upe like a dress and client where they are going to be dressed in a kaji, ata ijani bamba, you know. So what do you it's do? What you, you know, it's what you love doing, you understand? Yeah. I mean, so you're like, okay, you tell me what you want us to do. Some complain about fabrics, you know, you're not perfect every time. Some will complain about the fabric, maybe it's gonna somewhere. So, you'll just talk to them, Ask them what you want. You just have to be humble. You just say, hey, come out, you just explain to me. And if when I come, 
I always go to a step of making another dress or I'll tell you let's meet next time. I'll go rectify where there's a problem. There's a mistake. Yeah. And what are some of the risks in this business? Because like any other business, kuna risks in what to be here. So what are some of the risks in the fashion business? Mm -hmm. The risks they are not much. You just need to be I think the fashion, there is competition actually, that mm. is a challenge we really go through, you know, there are many upcoming fashion design designers, so yes. you have to remain relevant. Uh, let's talk about relevancy. So I'm just thinking, me at a milk not a many fashion designer in my own way. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you stand out in this business? How do you how do you put your name out there and what work could you car immaculate and uh, how do you deal with competition? So this, when I started I really work on fit and drip. Yeah. Like, okay, but like a client, like most of the time, actually, when I introduced my business, I was dealing with students. Okay, you and them are not talking about dress, not baggy. So, you have to work on the feet. You understand? You have to stand out from other designers. Like, you know, they're as in Kunaile no Shonia allowance. So, when I can't tape them, in a Zungusha, you've gone copy mango. When I can tape them, in a Zungusha, like, when a Bakisha allowance, like, we, the youth, don't want that. Like, I'm saying, I go. You understand? Like, mm -hmm. I want a fitting. You want something yes, that fits you, fit right? Me. Yes. So, yeah, that is one way I stand out. The other thing is what I just told you. I make sure I deliver everything on time and maintaining a very good relationship with my clients. Actually, 99% of my clients tend to be my friends. Oh, okay. So, what's the dream like for Immaculate Wende? What? Where do you see yourself? Where do you see your brand in like five to ten years? Ten kuzi yeswali. Yeah. What's the dream oh, like for you? I am really hoping that I'll be somewhere. I am actually. I. The thought of. I'll open a shop someday. That okay. I'm not so sure about. Yeah. And. I have told you about male fa male fashion. Yeah. I think that is what I am. Doing. And I'm so sure by in the next five years I'll be doing You'll something. Be there. I'll be doing something good. Okay. Because right now, I mean, I meet friends like my girlfriends have boyfriends. I'm saying I'm I want you to dress me and my boyfriend, and I'm like, I mean, I could dress whatever. Your boyfriend has to look for someone else to dress mm. it. So I mean, new opportunity. So I, I'll go for it someday. Okay. So for the fans who are watching you right now, where can they find you? Oh, I am on Facebook as Lavoga Kenya. Yes. Instagram Lavoga Kenya. Twitter, Lavoga Kenya, and you can also get to me through my WhatsApp number. Like, I'm always online, like, ever. Mm -hmm. I even, as in any time, I think it's a full time, like, 24 mm -hmm. 7. Okay, I work apart every from time. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apart from now. <laughs> <laughs> every time I think I'm just talking to my clients, yeah. That is something else that makes me, keeps me re going. Yeah, going and relevant to cause. Understand? Client attack ya kupigia simu ukomteja. Like sometimes I get clients who are like, I'm saying I'm pigia simu asubui. Hi, tomorrow I'm going somewhere and I want you to dress. I don't want to talk about at a after designer mungine. Mm, that's and true. And maybe that designer I'm going to do. But as a client. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, Immaculate. Thank you so I much for hosting me. <laughs> I am so grateful. Karibu, karibu. Ntakona kando. I really have to know how oh you made God. that <laughs> that outfit in one hour. Thank you, thank you so <laughs> you much. You really look nice. Thank you. Okay, so that was Immaculate Mwende, a fashion designer and the owner of Lavoga Brand Kenya. Mm -hmm. So don't go anywhere. After the break, we'll be back with more.